Back now with Craig Button and Kevin Weeks for fantasy or reality. Guys, I'm going to make a statement. Then you each tell me whether you think the comment is fantasy or reality. Let's start with the Oilers. Last night, they scored five, and yet they still lost. Stuart Skinner has given up 21 goals in his last five games. Edmonton needs to add a goalie before the deadline that's capable of sharing the workload with Skinner. Fantasy or reality, Craig? I think it's reality. They don't need somebody to supplant Stuart Skinner. He's shown a real capability. I think what those numbers tell you in the last five games, there's fatigue setting in. And you want Stuart Skinner to be ready as possible when the playoffs begin. Getting some support for him would be really helpful towards that end. Yeah, I'd, add, I'd completely add to that. Reality, because if you can have somebody to compliment him down the stretch, that alleviates some of the workload, that alleviates some of the pressure. We know how much everybody up in Edmonton wants that team to win the Stanley Cup and see Connor McDavid and Leon Dreisaitl win it. So, yeah, if you can compliment the skinny pony, as I call him, <laughs> Stuart Skinner, he's been galloping the majority of the year now. But if you can compliment him with something, I think that'd be a great idea for the oil. Speaking of netminders, there are five goalies on the trade bait board right now. Jacob Markstrom, Jake Allen, Marc-Andre Fleury, Capo Konkinen, and now UC Soros. With UC Soros being added to the list, Markstrom is no longer the best goalie available. Weeksy, is that statement fantasy or reality? I think that's fantasy because Markstrom is such a big, powerful presence. He's a big goalie. Craig gets to see him in, in, at home at the Dome there in Calgary. And he has that imposing kind of physique about him. And I really, when he's on his game, he plays under control. He's structured. But he also has the ability to make athletic reactionary saves where required. For me, he's still number one on the board. Fantasy. Listen, this is no skinny pony. This is a thoroughbred. This is a big man in the net. And he had an offseason last year. We all know that he had an offseason. Bottom line is, Jacob Marshall has been a real top-notch goaltender for too long. And you look at somebody that can be that workhorse thoroughbred, I want Jacob Markstrom. All right, let's move up front mm -hmm. now. The highest-ranked forward on the trade bay board right now is the Penguins pending UFA Jake Gensel. Pittsburgh is making the right decision, making Crosby's winger available. Fantasy or reality, Craig? Well, it's reality because the fantasy is the Pittsburgh Penguins thinking they're Stanley Cup contenders. Mm -hmm. So with not many prospects, no draft picks in their pipeline, bottom line is try to get some type of return for Jake Gensel. With a healthy Jake Gensel, they were going nowhere. Bottom line, if they want to go somewhere in the future, start trying to replenish the draft picks and the prospect cupboard. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. Craig got something over his shoulder there. It's not that beautiful bouquet of flowers <laughs> that maybe he bought for himself <laughs> for, uh, I don't know, for Valentine's Day. But anyway... I digress. There's a shiny silver chalice there. And you know what? He knows you've got to be aggressive. You have to be aggressive. And if it were me and I was the Pittsburgh Penguins, I would certainly lean on my toes, move Jake Gensel, try to move as many of those pieces, be it him, Riley Smith, we can go down the line and recoup as many assets as possible that could help us retool as quickly as possible. I they wanted it. to get Cal Dubas in there. They got him. This is his time to shine. I love the way you're thinking, Weeksy. That would make a great trade deadline day. By the way, the trade deadline, two weeks from tomorrow. After all the talk at that point, we'll find out what's really fantasy or reality.